Hello and welcome. I'm Dave Johnson at North Star Imaging. Thanks for joining us again for Insight. Insight takes a closer look at how non-destructive testing aids in safeguarding product quality and integrity by using digital industrial x-ray scanning for early detection. Today's subject is small motors. I'm joined again with Nate DeRue, an application engineer at NSI. Welcome back, Nate. Good to be back, Dave, thanks. So what are we talking about today? Well, we've scanned a lot of really interesting things here at North Star Imaging recently, and one of the more interesting things we've scanned are small electric motors. Cool. So what's so interesting about these small motors? Well, they're quite complex. In order to identify the root cause of failure, we have to identify all the components that the motor is connected to. Uh, it's kind of like a mystery novel uh, where you don't know who the villain is until you've eliminated most of the suspects. Nice analogy. I like that. So tell me about this motor. Well, this motor is used to pump uh, windshield washer fluid onto the windshield of your car. Yeah, I've used one of those. But it's very similar to motors that would be used in a wide variety of industries such as aerospace, defense, medical devices. It's all very, very critical. Okay. So what's the problem with this one? Well, we don't know specifically. All we know is that this motor is not pumping fluid. Well, it's probably just normal wear and tear, don't you think? Uh, potentially, but there's a lot of moving parts in there. I don't want to speculate as to exactly what the problem could be. We have the tools here to image the inside to see exactly what is wrong with it. But imagine that you are manufacturing you know, millions of these things and you have a problem on your production line where the motors are coming out bad. You definitely want to have your samples imaged then. Right. So what type of CT scanning would you use today for this? So at Northstar we can do 2D imaging, 3D imaging, and 4D imaging. For this particular sample though, I think we're going to do a 3D scan. Well, that's great. Let's go scan it. All right, let's go. So Nate, tell us what you're doing. So I'll put the sample in the machine, and we'll close the door. Now this object's larger than the last one we scanned. Does that change the settings for the machine? Absolutely. So it's thicker, it's harder to penetrate, so we have to use higher power on the x-ray source. Also, to get the whole field of view, uh, we'll need to scan it at lower resolution, so this scan will be about 40 micron. Okay. And how many pictures are we taking? We're still going to take 1,440 images for the full rotation. So if we wanted to get a higher resolution image of a localized area in the motor, we can zoom in and just focus on one certain area, say the brushes or the bushing on the other end. Okay. So we can start the scan. All right. And this will run for about an hour. Well, I can't wait to see the inside of this. Well, why don't we just let the scan finish up and we can look at the 3D reconstruction. Great. So we scanned our small motor. What are we looking at here? So here we have the 3D reconstruction. You can see it's a very complex part. There's a lot of stuff going on there. So what would you be looking for in this scan? So the first thing that I'm noticing is that the case appears to be quite corroded. It's very, very pitted. That probably would not cause the motor to fail directly. All right. If we continue our inspection here, we can see the brushes for the motor. Here. Here and here, yep. And we can slice through these and verify that they aren't damaged. And they appear to be intact. I don't see any huge cracks or, or broken pieces out of them, so that is probably not our cause of failure either. Okay, so what else would you look for? So here we're gonna take a, a top-down view of this motor, and we're gonna slice through. And it's apparent that there is some foreign material stuck in between the magnets and the rotating portion of the motor. So right in between here. And what problem would that cause? So that could potentially cause the motor to seize up. So does that answer your initial question? Yeah, I believe that this motor has failed due to the corrosion from the case getting stuck in the motor. Okay. So this is uh, one scan of a motor. Would you do multiple scans of motors? Absolutely. A manufacturer may send us hundreds of these to verify uh, assembly consistency and quality. Great. Well, thanks, Nate. Thanks. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful to see just one of the many uses of product scanning here at North Star Imaging and how they can help you in your R&D, product development, or QA process. For more information, contact the Inspection Services Group at North Star Imaging at xrayinspectionservice.com. For more insight, check back next time.